Hey, good weekend, everybody. How are you all doing? You got Lyle coming to you from a weekend shit. Yeah, it's Saturday, not Sunday. Tomorrow being Valentine's Day, I figured I didn't want to have to go about making the video tomorrow. I wanted to spend the day with my family. We got some fun plans. The kids got a lot of baking they want to do with me, starting with heart shaped pancakes in the morning. So I figured I'd get this in today for you guys. So for today's video, or shave, we're going to use First Canadian Shave Satsumo. Great orange scent, a little bit of spiciness behind it. This is in Randy's goat's milk base, uh, not, the, not the updated buffalo's milk base. Um, that's, this is still available in the current base. I, I think he's slowly moving things where I think will be in the buffalo milk. Still an amazing base. So as you can see, I've whipped this up for you guys in the Thirsty Badger bag, uh, lather bowl <laughs> with my 25 millimeter uh, two band finest Erebus and Terror uh, brush. I'm gonna get some uh, water on my face here. I'm gonna get the shape going for you guys. All right. Ooh, so hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all staying warm. It has been a chilly here still. It's supposed to be warming up uh, kind of mid next week, I believe, for us. You know, we're talking minus 50s, minus 60s with the wind chill. It's uh, pretty chilly. Pretty chilly. I'm going to have some plumbing problems. Which thankfully was an easy fix, but there's a big communication between me and my wife. So it, uh, it took about two weeks for me to really understand what she's saying and uh, noticing. But all fixed up today. It took about 10 minutes. So that's good. Uh, this base, as you guys know, I really like it and really enjoy the first Canadian uh, soap base. It's easy to work with and excellent performance. Should be good enough. Love the sound. This is a medium strong citrus scent to me with a bit of spice behind it. That's the Satsumo Orange of Oriental Spices. Right off the top, I don't get a lot of the spice, but as I start to lather it, the spices come up in strength and the orange stays about the same. And you get a very wonderful citrus blended scent that I think fits all seasons. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, you have citrus for the spring, summer, warmer scents. A touch of the spice for the cooler seasons. I mean, if you care about that kind of stuff. If you don't, who cares? <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. We are golden. This is such a wonderful base. I really, really enjoy it. And it's good to see uh, First Canadian finally getting some representation in the U.S. with distributorship down there through the Razor Company, which is awesome. He's uh, definitely, Randy's been needing that since he took the, cup, the brand over. He's completely revamped it in the last three years. The bases are night and day. And the old bases are good, but these are better. The pre-Randy base is what I call them. All right, for the razor today, going back to a straight. And I haven't used this for a little while, and I haven't used it for over a month on video. And I wanted to use the Red Point 5.8 square tip with the edge put on by my buddy, Magic Mike. So we'll see how this goes. I've had a few rough shaves the last couple days. So I'm assuming we'll, get, we'll reopen a weeper that's right there. I was testing a, another edge I did, and I, I nicked myself. What can you do? So, with the grain, guys. So, what you'll notice, I got a big bump there. So, it'll probably bleed too. <laughs> I uh, tend to forget about that when I'm shaving right now, and I 
cut it open a couple times. It came back, I got rid of that. I'm not sure what it is. So it is what it is, guys. Yep, yeah, I cut it already. It's okay. That I'm not counting. <laughs> Oh man. So keeping the glasses on here for the straight razor, We're trying to get better with them on. Uh, gotta get used to it. I think because eventually. I am gonna require them. Like not just an option. I think all the time I've spent this last year here in a bit with COVID and everything in front of a computer screen instead of out and seeing clients and doing what I normally do has really buggered up my eyes a bit more. Which is too bad, but you know what? I'm in my mid 40s. I'm getting really close. be 44 this spring and uh, hey if I didn't have to get glasses till I was 43 basically I'm happy with that great first pass everything's working excellent as always um, I'm really if anything goofs up, it's definitely this guy today. So all these products are top tier in my opinion. I just love them. I'm very happy they're in my den. Yeah. Mm. I so enjoy this scent. Um, This is a scent from First Canadian that needs more love, in my opinion. It's very enjoyable. Only reason I don't get to use it as much, and I should be using it more this year because this issue isn't as bad time for me, or a big problem right now. It's my wife's best friend is allergic to oranges. So anything that has an orange scented, um, I ensure that I use sparingly just in case she pops in or they go out and hasn't been a big problem obviously in the last year so I should be using this more but it's why I don't use it as much as I should I truly believe it's an underappreciated scent from Randy Oof. the edge from Magic Mike is still awesome uh, I think I got six shaves on it now. Maybe more. Can't remember. That's right, still sharp, smooth. He's done a good job and he's always trying to improve. So I can't wait to see how he improves on this. Um, I wish my edges were this nice. Gonna take some time or practice. More dedication on my part. I'm sure I can get there. I would definitely love to get a full size bit, uh, bench chain at. I love my little shovel. Just like a little bigger, a little more space to work on, less uh, laps I have to do. All right, just trying to watch that so I don't take too much off it. Issue is he's got hairs growing out of it, so I do have to try to get on top of it. <laughs> but it cuts so easily right now. 
Perfect. And I'm sorry if the, water, the running water when I rinse my board bugs you guys. I know lots of guys have gone to using the Doug Bear method of using a sponge. Nothing wrong with that. I just honestly can't be bothered to go out and buy a sponge. <laughs> wow. This is doing just excellent. I'm really, really enjoying it, guys. Okay, it's February 13th today, Saturday. I'm actually really looking forward to my uh, brother J Max video coming out today. If you don't, don't know who J Mac is, he goes by the Red Island Shaver on YouTube. Go check him out. He's always got good videos. He has three a week, so his story time videos are hilarious. Usually, uh, <laughs> come in with a sense of humor, guys. To those, and his tunes are awesome. He actually wrote a tune for me that I'm supposed to be making into an intro video. I play parts of it for you guys, usually at the end of the video. I just haven't got around to making the intro. Which is bad for me because J Mac put time and effort into that. So, sorry about that, buddy, when you see this. I do have a mail call coming, too. I'm really looking forward to. Good old Canada Post, though. He's about a week behind on it. <laughs> and uh, it's coming from out east Canada here. It came this way, and now it's coming back east. So hopefully it gets coming back west soon so I can show it to you guys. That one I'll probably do a... Uh, and boxing video for I'm really, really, really excited for it. This little blade is doing a great job. I gotta remember to watch this point. This thing is sharp as sharp can be. And usually, if I have any issues using this blade, it's not the edge at all, or the size of the blade. It is getting cruising and getting too comfortable. Forgetting about that point and digging it in. Some of the funky angles I do sometimes. So, kinda gotta watch that. Oh, it's nothing like a nice straight shape, guys. I just love them. Love them, love them, love them. Speaking of my buddy Magic Mike, you know he's got a new blade coming. Posted it last night on Facebook. And uh, really excited for him. He's joining the Korak Club. And the blade looks gorgeous. I can't wait till he gets it in his hands and lets me know what he thinks of it. Hope he loves it because I highly recommend it to him. <laughs> nice. Might have reopened a little something there. Um, we'll see. It might be a micro leaper, we'll find out. Just heard the oven go off. I was freaking out for a second what that noise was. 
in my head trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And I realized, oh yeah, let's preheat in the oven and make the kids some lunch. Going to have some Mennonite sausage. Looking forward to that. Usually eat that stuff when my wife's not around and she's gone out to pick up some supplies for bacon for my kid. She just can't stomach it. Uh, the texture of sausage makes her gag. Oh, right on. Hey guys, I'm going to go do my uh, cleanup on my jawline here. I rinse up and clean my gear. I'll be back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. So there's just a quick cleanup around the jawline here. Everything feels really nice, really smooth. Probably got a little closer right there, but I wasn't going to chase it. Cause some weepers. And overall, very, very happy with how that's gone. So for the post shave today, we're going to use the Matt Jane Satsumo Splash by First Canadian Shave. Again, orange and oriental spices. Um, this is, of course, witch hazel based, so you can get the ship anywhere, guys. It's a lovely scent. I get hit with the orange right up front, and the spices come up behind very uh, subtly to me. Love it. Wow. Very, very, very. Nice product and a wonderful scent. Quite enjoy this. <laughs> All right. So. Perfect. Quite enjoyed that. Very much enjoyed that shave. Uh, it's actually one of the nicer shaves I've had this week, so I'm glad I got it on camera for you guys. Um, quick recap, everyone. We used the first Canadian shave. Satsumo. Soap and splash. Excellent product, very highly underrated scent, I think, from the first Canadian line. Uh, if you like citrus and you'd like something with a little bit of oomph, spice room behind it, this is just awesome. I love it. Um, to really start to smell the spice coming up a bit on the dry down. Really enjoy it. So I did whip that up in the Thirsty Badger lather bowl called the Mayor. Use my Erebus and Terror. 25 millimeter, uh, two band finest, beautiful brush. Pre-coin, his coins are out on his ones now. Um, great, great wood turn handles. I love the little ring in there. Just beautiful, beautiful, and the knot feels great. A little bit of scratch, very happy with it. Stormtrooper mug for the water. And of course you guys saw me use the red point with the little tip, <laughs> it's not muted. Edge by Magic Mike. He also uh, piffed me that razor to try his edge. So thank you again, Mike. Really, really enjoying your edge too, buddy. And pass that, everyone. I just want to say have a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Hope you guys remember to get stuff for your ladies. Um, I'm hoping mine is ready for pickup in time. It might not be ready for until tomorrow, they're telling me. Ooh, I might be in shit. Um, so fingers crossed, everyone. Pass that. Thank you for taking your time to spend uh, watching my videos. Hope you can comment below, let you know, let me know what you thought about the products, the shave, any questions you have. Thank you for subscribing. So we passed 400 uh, subscribers last video last week. That was awesome. Really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to doing more videos with you guys and hopefully getting the 500 this year. So happy shaving, everyone. Have a great upcoming week. I'll talk to you soon.